All right, so we're gonna call this video like reason 1,427 why you should have a dump trailer if you're in my line of work. All right, we are back home for the day. So, let's go over some pricing, how I decided there's also additional um, fees that I'm gonna be charging for this job because we've got additional change orders to do. So we got some clay to scrape off underneath that concrete pad. So, I'm gonna go over how I price stuff and you know how I figure out my pricing and you guys can compare and see. It's nice to obviously have additional income coming in because of the dump trailer, which is nice. And that's kind of the reason why I bought, you buy these income producing assets. So let's go over some, uh, let's go over some numbers and I'll roll some B-roll footage here. All right, so let's talk about business with the dump trailer. Dealing with um, materials like gravel, you know, 21 AA, mulch, anything like that, clay. Uh, it's, having a dump trailer is an absolute best way to get into it unless you have a dump truck which isn't like a, a local asset like it's a dedicated asset which i don't have the need for dump trailer works just fine because it's multiple use and it's attached to the truck which i can just detach and leave on the job site so it's working out great obviously debris removal is what i got it for but we like you guys can see the 21 AA and the egg stone the the gravel that i delivered um that's just additional profit as well plus we're going to be removing uh clay and uh, from the job site as well, and also delivering more 21 AA to that job site. Probably another, I think, six six yard, cubic yards to it is what my concrete guy wants. Uh, maybe maybe a little less. We'll see how much we have to dig out as well. So, uh, as far as pricing wise, you got to look in. You know how I did it was basically I looked up in my area what people charge, and I wanted to be higher than them. So this is not. I don't do this every day. I don't need to be competitive. It's more of a uh, a What's the word I'm looking for here? Um, convenience. Like basically it's a convenience. So hey, yeah, I can do it. I mean, I'll do it right now, but it's gonna be this fee. My fees are based off the ton or and a minimum of tonnage. So $25 per ton, which is 2,000 pounds, and a minimum of uh, four tons. And that goes up by the drive time. So if, and that's within 20 minutes of the job site. So that's a 40 minute round trip. And that's picking up. That does not include the material. I know there's going to be some people in the town. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, the 21 AA you guys saw, that was four yards. That cost that cost about 138 bucks with sales tax. And then I always, if I'm paying for it, I always add 
for my markup for materials. I don't need to make a killing on it, but I don't I don't get less than 20% on anything like that. And then I also get the delivery fee. So you're looking, you know, $25 per ton. You know, and now you gotta know what things weigh. So 21 AA, I mean, we're talking roughly, you know, it's not completely dry, but you're looking at about 3,200 pounds per cubic yard. So if somebody wants four yards, what you guys saw dumped there was over 12,000 pounds. I know it doesn't look like it, but it was over 12,000 pounds. So, and then the, the gravel there, I think that weighs around 3,000 pounds per cubic yard. So you're, you know, you're looking at 9,000 pounds right there. So yeah, the, the trailer right now is 16 cubic yards, 16 and a quarter cubic yards, but you're not going to get that with gravel. It's, it weighs way too much. And I don't use the dump trailer for concrete removal or slabs of concrete. It's, I need it to last and it's not built for concrete removal. It's, just, I mean, it's, I think it's got, you know, even if a seven gauge steel would still would be pretty, pretty hard up to uh, stand up to a bunch of concrete getting dumped in it time and time again. So that we don't do, but material deliver. And also I'm taking material off the uh, job site, which is, you know, clay, other small things. I don't mind dumping small rocks in there, stuff like that. But again, I charge $25 per ton and four ton minimum. And then there's also every additional, I got do 20 minutes and every additional 10 minutes after that, you know, 20 minutes, I charge an additional $15. Some, depending on the customer, maybe it might be $25. Uh, for, cause it's just an extra time, obviously and wear and tear on your truck, not to, you know, on the dump trailer a little bit, but don't, you know, the, the truck is probably the more wear it's got the engine. It's, it's an absolute asset to the, to the business anyway. So that's my pricing structure. Now going over a couple weights, uh, mulch can weigh between 400 and 800 pounds per cubic yard. So, and I don't, you know, I don't install mulch. So I know landscapers, you know, the quality landscapers get probably a hundred bucks per per yard of mulch installed. Um, that's including the actual price of the mulch, which is not that much, but that's what they use, you know, the quality ones get that. And I, after 10 yards, and they, they, then the price drops down a little bit. But in my area, look up Keith Kalfas. If you guys, he he's big in my area. He's got a great YouTube channel. He's very good. I watch his channel a lot. Shout out to his channel. But that's what he's probably, and he probably raises his price again because everybody else is raising their price, right? So that's my pricing. That's how I structure it. You gotta, you know, it's gotta be worth your time. Um, you know, you know, four yard minimum, hundred bucks. That's actually not that much money, but when I went from this, the round trip was only 10 minutes. Well, a 18 minutes round trip plus waiting five minutes to get loaded up. So it's not that bad. There's usually a relative in my area. There's usually a, some area that actually sells, you know, 21 double a or stone or whatever you need relatively close within, within a half an hour, really. I mean, it's we're in my area anyway. So if you have to drive an hour and a half to get something, then obviously your prices are going to be way more than mine because of the drive time alone right so <clears throat> that's my pricing so you guys can see you know add you know if you're paying for if you're actually providing the material make sure you you mark up the material anyway and it's even in my contract in my updated contract i'm going to be having here uh, i gotta go over it this weekend and put it in there. i'm actually going to be stipulating price increases and straight up front being straight up in, in my contract uh anything that's bought through me is a 20 percent markup they can purchase their own stuff, but then they, they assume the warranty and all the liability and stuff. So I don't, you know, I straight up front with my customers. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, I'll buy it 20% markup. I'll deliver it for this amount and you have your, you know, you'll have your product in your driveway dumped in and we can work with it. So now this, what you guys saw, this was my concrete. This was actually my subcontractor. His, his dump truck guy bailed on him. So he's like, Hey, my dump truck guy bailed on me. Can we have your, you know, can we have the use of your dumb trailer to do this? I was like, sure. You know, I'll just, you know, I'll charge you. He's like, I'll pay you. No problem. This is my fee. And basically I'm taking it off of his, um, his, the change order, the additional fee that, you know, the monies that we um, owe him after I collect from the customer, I'll just take it off of that, make sure it's documented and be done with it. So, which is, you know, I'll be Johnny on the spot right there with everything he needs. And, you know, we get, we keep in it. More importantly, it keeps the job rolling, keeps him working, makes everything, everybody happy. Right. So, yeah, that's basically it. Do I have anything else? Um, yeah, let me go over some notes here. So topsoil, if you want to know, 2,000 pounds per cubic yard dry and then 3,375 pounds wet. So you got to keep in mind, weight is a lot with a dump trailer. So if you only have a 14K dump trailer, you're not going to be, you're not going to be able to haul um, too much cubic yards of, you know, stone and everything. There's, you're going to be overweight for sure. So even my trailer, the, for the stone, I had them loaded up front. Because the truck, I can put 4,000 pounds of tongue weight in the truck, minus the, tr the trailer, of course. So that way, it kind of, you know, I, I just, 
at that point I didn't know how much those stones actually weighed, so I want to make sure that it was um, evenly distributed as far as the truck and the trailer. And on, that, on the side of the truck, I didn't get a picture of this, but you can actually see it, it was squatting a little bit. So I was like, you know, putting the, putting the 450 to work. So it was nice, it was cool. So I think, I mean, you know, I wasn't overloading the trailer by any means, but you know, that's why, we, that's why I, I bought an overbuilt, you know, higher, higher rated trailer in the first place for this. So I can do this kind of work. So I think that's about it guys, as far as, uh, as far as money talk with the dump trailer. So, and again, we got five more dumps with this, uh, with this concrete, uh, with this job, plus an additional uh, dump trailer rental for this as well. So we are, dump trailer is actually making some good money on this job site. Uh, granted, it's gonna be some time on my end as well, but that's why we charge what we charge, right? So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Patreon page, if you guys want a copy of my contract, I'll link that in the description, and as well as everything else as far as other videos about pricing. So I appreciate it, thank you.